for us, it's very important to produce custom impression trays in the lab. Uh, we still do a lot of these trays and we are using for this purpose a liquid from a Datax. It's called a free print tray UV. It's a material which has a color like you see here, bluish greenish color. And it's a medical uh, product, class one, biocompatible. That means uh, this uh, liquid can be, or the trays which you produce with this liquid, can be used for impressions in the mouth. You can get nowadays very cheap materials from many manufacturers, uh, but the problem with some of those liquids, they're not allowed to really be used in the mouth. You don't have any uh, official approvals for that. The trays have to be stable. That means uh, they should not deform when you make an impression. The surface hardness should be also very good. And uh, the trays should be very easy to clean. That means after printing, you should not spend time cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. It should happen very fast. So this material you can clean very easy and the trays are very stable. There are two ways how we can print these trays. The one way is that we print it in a standing fashion like you see here. When you print it standing, the advantage is that you only have a few supports you have to remove and the tray is finished. If you print it the flat way like you see here in the printer, this allows us to print this trace in about 10 to 15 minutes. We can print them very fast, but then manually you have to remove the supports, which really also doesn't take much time. Real, real advantages when you manufacture custom impression trays is that you can design anything you want if you have the right software. You can design the chimneys like you see here for uh, implant impressions. Uh, you can say how much impression material you want in between. All that you can do when you do it digitally. That's why we in our lab only print nowadays our trays. We don't do any conventional trays anymore.